the patient presented with hepatitis C cirrhosis and portal vein thrombosis. Due to portal obstruction, collateral vessels and splenomegaly are present. The surgical plan is to perform a piggyback liver transplant, where the recipient's liver will be removed, but the retrohepatic cava will be left in place, and anastomose to the inferior vena cava from the donor graft. The donor graft will be prepared in a backbench prior to liver transplantation. The caudate lobe will be removed to fully expose the retrohepatic cava. The suprahepatic cava opening will be oversewn. The distal cava will be left open to vent first pass blood. A replaced right hepatic artery, originating from the SMA, is found in the donor graft. To reconstruct the donor's right hepatic artery, it will be anastomosed to the distal GDA stump. The common hepatic artery will be anastomosed to the recipient's hepatic artery. Before implantation, the left hepatic artery, right hepatic artery, bile duct, and portal vein will be divided. The liver will be fully mobilized from the cava. The right and middle left hepatic vein will be divided, and the liver will be removed. Due to portal vein thrombosis, an SMV jump graft will be anastomosed to the recipient SMV in anticipation of reconstructing the portal vein inflow to the donor graft. The donor liver with its retrohepatic cava will be brought in and anastomosed to the recipient's inferior vena cava in a side-to-side -side anastomosis. The donor portal vein will be anastomosed to the SMV jump graft. The reconstructed donor hepatic artery will be anastomosed to the recipient's common hepatic artery. This will be followed by the bile duct anastomosis. The deceased liver graft is removed from the organ